Hi everyone, my name is Taz. I'm a dietitian and this is my good friend. My name is Simone. I am from NIRI, the Nutrition and Health Innovation Research Institute. And this is one of a few videos that we're actually doing to basically um, take the incredible research that the NIRI is doing and making it come alive. We're going to make a few dishes for you and basically translate the research that the NIRI is so good at doing. So what is the research that NIRI is doing? Pretty much we're looking at um, nutrition and well-being and when we talk about well-being we're also considering stress as well and the role that stress plays or doesn't play in, in well-being. So we're going to begin with asking Simone Tell us about stress, Simone. Yeah, so There's good stress and bad stress, yeah? Yes, that's right. So stress is part of our lives and we can experience stress many times during the day and in different ways. Uh, you may be surprised to hear that not all stress is bad, so yeah, there's right. also the good stress. Mm, and the good, good stress, news. yeah, the good stress is the one that um, you feel, for example, before a first date right. or when you are preparing for exam or at the moment for example I'm really stressed but it's a good stress because I'm expecting my mom to come over and right, she hasn't right. been here in three years so that's right. uh, it's exciting but it's also stressful um, so that is the good stress and there is also the bad stress okay. which can be acute so when you lose someone that you love for example and you receive those news so right. that is acute stress and then there is the chronic stress which is repetitive and can impact your whole body including your mind and your heart um, and this is the right. stresses that during that you go through uh, during the day on a daily basis so yes. even sort of hitting one red traffic light after another right we all yes. know about that yes, that's and then right. being super late for a meeting so that's your your chronic stress yes yes that's sure. right and then um, the good news is that there is some stress reducing strategies uh -huh. that you can use and some of them are very well known so um, meditation physical activity mindfulness right uh, and they can help you reduce your stress levels and then reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease and also um, uh, mental health issues now um, food is another thing that can help you alleviate stress but many people are not aware of that yeah right um, and I think I'm gonna like to talk about that part because you are the expert in that area so yeah. food and mindfulness and how yeah. we incorporate that into our daily life yeah you're absolutely right Simone there are certain foods in our diet that if we eat more of um, they could in fact actually contribute to a reduction in stress why because these particular foods like your green leafies and your cruciferous vegetables are said to have these incredible phytochemicals and these phytochemicals could be contributing to the stress busting effect of these particular foods and what's beautiful is that these particular phytonutrients also contribute to the vibrant colors and textures and flavor simony of these particular foods which means while we're preparing these these dishes with these ingredients the actual preparation can actually be a mindful activity. So it could be actually mindfulness in practice as we're even preparing the food. Let alone Simone actually preparing the food and then finally eating the food, we can integrate mindfulness into that yeah. into that stage as well. I should remember that when I am cooking with my kids. Right. To do that mindfulness because Absolutely with kids, right. you know, sometimes it's so uh, quick and you just put everything in the blender but totally. yeah, that's yep. and, you, and you took the words right out of my mouth in that we can like these ingredients that I have here I've got some blackberries here and I've got some mango cheeks here I've got some frozen cauliflower and some dates for a bit of sweetness because what's life without sweetness and I've got some green leafies as well which I've just pulled out of a bag folks they're they're super washed and and yeah and, and super convenient that way I've got some frozen bananas as well that'll add to the thickening and the sweetening some soy milk as well so Simone just as you do you said with your kids we could throw just everything in whiz it all up and then scoff it down all in a matter of probably five minutes yeah. um, but what if we were to zone in on the vibrancy of the orange in the mango um, I notice the vibrancy so I'm basically what I'm doing Simone is is drawing upon my senses, the senses of taste and touch and sound and smell. And so I'm sort of having a smell of the mango and if it's fresh, it's probably going to be stronger. This is frozen, of course, but having acknowledged the, the color of the mango and the temperature of it, I've noticed I've pulled it out, it's frozen mango, so it's quite cold. And then perhaps throwing some blackberries, 
super vibrant sort of deep burgundy. Okay. I love this color. And I'm going to throw that in. And you know, while I'm throwing the ingredients in, placing the ingredients in, I'm noticing the way my, my fingers, Simone, grip around the bowl. I'm noticing the contraction of my muscles allowing me to, to, actually, to actually place the, um, tip the bowl enough to, to place the ingredients in. I'm going to notice the limpness compared to the quite structured shapes of the, of the blackberries. I'm noticing the leaves are quite limp, Simone, but just noticing. So it's not a matter of slowing things down because it, I, I'm not necessarily implying that you're doing it slowly, but what I'm implying is that you're doing it in a mindful manner. It doesn't have to be super, super slow-mo. So I'm placing the, the spinach in, and then I'm going to throw going to, I've pitted these dates, so I'm popping those in. Probably one of my most favorite foods, dates. And frozen bananas tend to be quite easy to break. And I'm going to throw that in. That gives the creaminess of the, um, of the smoothie bowl. And probably an unusual ingredient, Simone, I'm gonna pop some frozen cauliflower in. Um, and of course they're cruciferous vegetables. So part of the vegetables that we've been raving on about, um, part of the vegetable group that um, could in fact have some stress busting um, effects. So I'll throw some frozen cauliflower in. And of course when it's frozen, it's quite easy to break. So I'm noticing my hands and the strength required to, to pull apart. I'm going to use soy milk, but it doesn't matter what milk you use, Simone. I just like this super creamy soy milk. And then it's good to go. Then it's basically popping it um, onto the, the motor and, and whizzing it up, Simone. Beautiful. So what we end up with is, da, 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 I have this all made up, a smoothie bowl. And I've got one for you too, Simone. Thank you, Kat. So you are most welcome. So what I've got here is the smoothie bowl that I blended up earlier. And what did you put on top of it, Das? I've got some, some dark chocolate because life's so much sweeter with chocolate. Mm. Um, I've got some maple coated um, walnuts, which are super, super yum. And again, oh gosh, we could talk about nuts forever. They're so fantastic um, in terms of health and, and taste. And I've got some, also some maple coated, a bit of a maple fan, Simone. I've got some maple coated seeds and, and some um, almonds as well here and some, a couple of flakes of coconut as well just to add a bit of crunch and, and yeah, texture to, to our smoothie. So basically, it's, it's playing with ingredients that are, that are said to be stress busting, but also doing it in a manner that is also mindful. And then to top it off, to be able to share it with such a good friend brings joy as well. So in, in being able to share something with a good friend brings about joy and in itself can be stress reducing yes. as well, right Simone? So tuck in, and as you do so, I'd like you to notice the taste of it in your mouth, which Beautiful. in itself can be a mindful activity as well, the actual mindful eating of, of a dish. What do you think? Amazing. Hmm. I think this brings us to the end of our video. Hmm. Yeah. So this brings us to the end of our video. As Simone said, we'll be doing another few. So please stay tuned, watch our other ones. Um, we'll just be sort of going along the same lines and playing around with, with food and integrating mindfulness in there and yeah, getting a good feed between friends. Thanks. Okay.